Maya Angelou taught me that a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. That other candle gets lit, and guess what? The room becomes more illuminated. And she showed me how to light candles for other people. And so that was a profound, transformative moment for me. Black history, more than a month. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my show. I'm Melody Trice, and I'm so excited that you decided to watch my show today. You know, we want to do little things a little different up in here because we're all about living life unlimited. So I have with me Sarissa McQueen. Welcome, girl. Hi. I thank you so much for being on the show today because, you know, you, we know that you got some awesome vocals going on up in here, you know, with your awesome band back here in the back and, and all that good stuff. So we want to make sure that we have you sing later on. But I want you to tell us a little bit about you and your music and why you chose, well, I guess it's a God-given gift, but why you want to just go platinum, girl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to go platinum. Well, it's, <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, when you're called to do something, you kind of have to do it. So it's one of those things where you know you have the gift to sing and you have to share it with people. So that's one of the one of the main reasons why I decided to do that, and I just love love it. Really? So, what genre did you choose, and and do you sing other music as well? So I sing gospel and I sing R and B, soul, however you want to call it. Soul, yeah, girl. yeah, yeah, soul. yeah. I got a lot of soul. Okay, because we're gonna hear that soul later on. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure, for sure. So what song, you know, like, well, I want to say that, but let me ask you this question first. What particular artist are you just really like, I love this person? I'm a huge Aretha fan. A huge Aretha fan. And the fact that I'm saying that, because we're putting together an Aretha tribute band. We're working on a huge project with that. Awesome. I think she's going to be really happy to pat the fact that you tribute to her and you sound like her, which we're going to hear that later on, okay? (laughs) So tell us a little bit about the fact that um, with your band, you know, your band choice and and, and all that good stuff. Or did they choose you or did you choose them? (laughs) I think it's mutual. mutual. Yeah, it's mutual. That was a great answer, right? (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, you know, like, have they played with other people, you know? Oh, yeah, and I don't even want to um, mess up their resume by saying that you can interview them. You, you, know, you know, there's Kevin Florino when, on the keys. Well, let me step over here a little bit to, to Kevin. Kevin? How you doing? I'm doing good. Tell I'm us good. a little bit about you. Well, um, I'm supporting uh, Sarissa today, you know, playing keyboards. Actually going to be involved in producing, helping producing her Aretha Franklin tribute. So we're getting ready to get started on that. And, you know, I, I, uh, I've been touring for many years. So name some of these artists you've been playing for. Well, I have to say that, you know, the last three years, basically, actually tomorrow I'm flying out to do a date with the Pointer Sisters. And uh, the last couple of years, uh, Shaka Khan and Babyface. Wow. Can I meet Babyface? Yes, you can. Oh, that sounds good. Why not? Why not? not? It's an unlimited world. (laughs) So we're going to go here to the drummer. You know, one day I had always said I wanted to drum, but I'm Unfortunately, I hadn't got there yet, you know. So tell us a little bit about you. And first of all, tell us your name, because, you know, we don't want to get that misunderstood. My name is Tony Moore. Ooh, wait a minute, say that again, say that again. Tony Moore. Tony Moore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that less, honey. That less. <laughs> so tell us, like, why you chose drumming, or you've been doing it since you was really young. I've been doing it since I was very young, and I actually started on piano because my mother was a piano teacher, and I ended up switching to drums. I still play a little bit, not like this guy, but... Um, well, both. well, you know, you're toning more, so you live in unlimited. <laughs> so, like, tell us some of the artists that you have played for and, and all the awesome stuff. Uh, in the last few years, I've been working with Bobby Caldwell, and I uh, actually fly to Chicago with him uh, on Saturday. We're doing a show up in Chicago, and uh, I work with Kenny Lattimore. I work with um, the Isley Brothers. I work with uh, a lot of different people. <laughs> what? Oh, well, you know, I think that's amazing, especially Kenny Lattimore. I mean, all of them. You just name them all, but you know, Asley Brother, you know, Asley Brothers, you know. So that's awesome. Well, I'm, I'm gonna just move on, Kenny. Mo- um, you know, not Kenny Moore, Tony Moore. Oh my God, I gotta get it right. Okay, I'm gonna move on over to the guitar. Woo, it's a good bass. Oh, see y'all, that's correction. Let me bag up to the bass. Bam. Tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Kevin Cooper. This is it. Look at this. From the burn, I'm burning. <laughs> <Man> to the <laughs> bone. <laughs> That's what made me think about it. I don't know why I just think about that. So, um, and I know I should have had that mic up when I said that, but it's all good. So right. tell us a little bit about, um, you know, why you chose bass guitar. Do you play other instruments for his guitar? 
Um, I was actually originally a drummer when I started playing in church. You mean to tell me you, you, you had more over here position? Well, I was nowhere near him. You were nowhere. Yeah, I was just yeah, I was just a, a young young guy trying to play drums and I started playing bass guitar when I was in high school. Oh wow, I think that's amazing. How many guitars you got? Because most guitar people have like a lot of people. I, you know, I don't have very many. I have probably about five or six. What? Five, six? That's a lot. You know, five, six. Ooh, okay. Well, it depends on the type. I have uh, an upright, upright bass as well, acoustic upright bass. And then I have uh, um, a few electric five-string basses as well. You know, I'm looking like this because I don't know nothing you're saying. Okay. What do you mean? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's irrelevant for what you're doing for my girl over there, Sarissa. Right on, right on. Yeah, we enjoy playing with Sarissa. We've been... Put it together, and we look forward to the, to the tribute, the Aretha tribute that's coming up. We're really excited about that as well. Well, tell us some of the artists that you play for. Do you sing? Um, not really. I sing a, a little bit background. No sing, sing. I can't sing or sing. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me some of the people that you some of the people that you actually play for. Uh, I've had the pleasure of playing with a, a gentleman named Ike Turner for a while. <laughs> and uh, I had an uh, opportunity to record uh, with B.B. King, and Buddy Guy, so a lot of people in the blues era. And um, I've also uh, traveled to India to study with uh, Ravi Shankar, some Indian classical music as well, and uh, among other, other various artists. Well, I think that's big. That's really huge. You know, I don't know. You might need to say a word. Say something. Just say something nice. Y'all look out for Sarissa McQueen. She's coming at you. Wow. I think because of the fact she got these three awesome people with her, that was, uh, that's what's making her. No, that is what is making her the person she is right now. Besides the glory of God, I mean, you know. So anything that you want to tell us about your up-and-coming stuff? I know you're doing Aretha tribute, but what else you got going on, girl? Oh, I got my hands in so many things. I'm going to Italy at the end of the year to tour with Earl Thomas. Um... What else? Um, I'll, I'll be my first debut acting role coming up in November, and I'll be singing and acting in a play called The Beggar's Introduction. Congratulations. That's really big. I mean, I can see you in musicals and everything. Wow. <laughs> so tell us, too, like, originally where you guys are from. Well, I'm originally from Virginia, and I've been in California for going on 16 years. Yeah. Do you love it here? Of course, you gotta love it here. You've been here 60 years, but do you go back home often or what? Yeah, I go back. I go back to visit. I just when I came out, I came to visit my sister. She was in the Marines, and I ended up staying. I overstayed my walk home. <laughs> wow. Well, you know what? I really want to, you know, talk a little bit more, but because of the fact that, you know, I want everybody to hear your awesome music. You know, the next voice that we want everybody to hear is Sarissa McQueen. My life. 
What is your real name? Malcolm. Malcolm X. Uh, is that your legal name? As far as I'm concerned, it's my legal name. Bunch. Would you mind telling me what your father's last name was? My father didn't know his last name. My father got his last name from his grandfather, and his grandfather got it from his grandfather, who got it from the slave master. The real names of our people were destroyed well, during slavery. Any... My name is Muhammad Ali, and you will announce it right there in the center of that ring after the fight if you don't do it now. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama, with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today.
Empathy is a huge part of our society. We need it. It's instrumental. It's invaluable. If you leave out certain people, you then in turn really limit creativity and society's ability to solve problems. That's what we can do in the next four years. Our world is not singular. There are so many voices and experiences that deserve to be heard and expressed. Diversity is really the key to life. Without diversity, life becomes stagnant. It acknowledges and values the importance of everyone, which makes us as a country even better. Martin Luther King, he had a dream. It was for everybody to be united. To stand up for freedom together. Without diversity, there's no progress. And that's what black history is. Black history. More than a month.
have dreamed that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the, pres the office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations. Black History Month. So many black people have stood up for what they believed in and helped change the world. From risking their lives to save slaves by the Underground Railroad, to making the speech of freedom, to being the first African American president. February is Black History Month. Please take this time to remember.